Hi class, good day sa inyo. So, today ang ginawa kong video is all about solving applied problems involving parabola. So, kung mga previous videos natin is about solving problems involving circle, so tapos na tayo doon, proceed tayo doon sa pagkaparabola naman. So, ito naman yung problems dito. So, proceed tayo doon sa example number 1. Problem number 1, write the standard form of the equation of a parabola whose is whose vertex is at origin, has a focal of 5, has a horizontal axis of symmetry, and opens to the right. So, ito yung given problem natin. Since, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa example number 1 natin, is, ang hinihingi lang naman is equation wherein meron tayong certain informations about the parts of the parabola. So, kung ganyan lang ang certain problem or worded problem natin, hindi na kagaya yung ginawa natin sa circle na, magpa-plan ka agad tayo. Hindi na natin kailangan mag-plan dyan sa certain problem na yan kasi uh, nagbibigay naman siya ng information sa about dun sa parabola. At the same time, equations lang naman ang hindi. Uh, worded problem siya pero hindi siya situational problem. So, hindi na natin kailangan mag-plan dyan. So, anong unang step na dapat natin gawin? So, kapag ka ganyan, di identify na kagad natin yung given. So, ano yung mga given sa uh, problem natin? Ang mga given sa problem natin is the vertex is at the origin. Yan. Whose vertex is at origin? When we say at the origin, so therefore, 0, 0 yun. Therefore, each natin is 0. And then, P natin is 0. Kasi di ba, vertex natin is at H and K. So, since at the origin siya, so at 0, 0 siya. Next, yan, the parabola has a horizontal axis of symmetry. Yan nga yun. Horizontal axis of symmetry. Uh, horizon, uh, uh, horizontal line siya. Nagpo-form natin, horizontal line. Therefore, the parabola is either open to the right or left. Kapag ka horizontal naman, di ba, is either left or right yung um, parabola natin. Next, the focal length is 5, which is positive. Yung focal length natin is 5, positive siya. Therefore, the parabola is open to the right, which is nakalagay rin naman dito sa given problem natin, na open to the right yung uh, tinutukoy natin parabola. Next, since the parabola has a horizontal axis of symmetry, and then open to the right siya, therefore, the variable y is the second, is in the second degree. So, di ba nga kasi sa equation ng parabola as in vertex form, uh, in uh, vertex form or standard form, isa lang naman dun sa kanila ang i-raise natin sa 2 or in a squared natin is either y or x. Since horizontal ang ang ating parabola is either open to the right or to the left siya, horizontal ang axis of symmetry niya. So therefore, ang y niya is yung second degree. Kasi di ba pagka up and upward or downward ang opening natin, yung x ang nasa second degree. Since etong given problem natin is nasa uh, yung horizontal axis of symmetry ang ay uh, horizontal ang axis of symmetry natin at open to the right siya. So, variable y natin ang nasa second degree. So, ito yung mga given informations. So, yan yung step 1 natin. Ha. Kapag ka ganitong problem, ha, hindi siya situational. Baga ang hinihingi niya lang is the equation and then meron siyang given informations na nagdi-describe sa parabola. Kapag ka ganyan, ang simp uh, ganyan lang kasimple yung problem natin, word of problem natin. Proceed na kagad kayo dun sa identify the given. Next, ayan, niitang ko lang yung given problem natin. Next is determine what it asks. Ano bang inaalam dun sa problem? So, the problem asks us to write the equation in the parab of the parabola in standard form. You know? Write the standard form of the equation of the parabola. So, nasa standard form siya or vertex form. Where in standard form vertex form, Di ba, merong squared dun sa right side, then nandun sa kabila yung 4a times the uh, another variable. Since y ang dapat squared natin, so, and then horizontal siya, ang gagamitin na natin equation, yung para dun sa opens to the right na equation. Ayan yun. And naka-squared dito yung y variable. And then is equal to 4a times x minus h. Yung opens to the right ang gagamitin natin. So, para kung sa ako nakuha to, yung mga bago lang dito sa channel ko, meron akong uploaded video about the parabola, yung converting from standard form to general form. Nandun din-discuss ko yung 
different type of uh, parabola o oh, different type ng equations ng parabola in standard form. Ayan. Ito yung para dun sa open to the right. Since ang tinatanong naman, equations ng parabola in standard form, so ito yung gagamitin natin yung standard form for the equation of the parabola. Na open to the right. Kasi open to the right yung given problem natin. Next is, solve na natin. Meron ka ng, ano eh, meron ka ng given kanina. din scared na rin natin kung ano yung tinatanong. Isolve na tayo. Gagamitin natin yung equation na yan. And then substitute. H and K natin is both 0, 0. Kasi nga, di ba, at the origin. So, H and K is 0. Where A yung focal length natin is 5. So, 5. 4 times 5. So, Y minus 0, that is Y squared, that is Y squared, tama, is equal to 4 times 5, that is 20, X, so that is Y squared is equal to 20 X. Since, standard form naman ang tinatanong, so therefore, yun yung answer natin. Again, kagaya nung diniscuss ko dun sa circle, hindi pwedeng mag-end lang tayo sa solution lang, mag-solve lang tayo. Dapat, mag-end tayo by explanation. So, dapat meron tayong explain. Explain yung work nyo. Therefore, the equation of the parabola in standard form is y squared is equal to 20x. Yun yung how to solve a certain problem ha, na naka ganitong format. Next, sample problem number 2. Yan, medyo maulan sa atin. So, find the general form of the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at the origin has a focal length of 7, has a vertical asing, axis of symmetry, and opens downward. So, kung mapapansin nyo, same lang din siya ng sample problem number 1 na we're in nagbibigay siya ng information or, or information about the parabola. So, therefore, kung ganyan lang na yung problem, so ganyan lang rin ang ginawa natin kanina. Which is, anong unang ginawa natin? Ayan. Identify the given information. So, yung mga informations na. So, much better, gusto nyo, post nyo yung video, then ilagay nyo lang muna yung mga information, or huwag nyo sa akin. Tignan natin kung parehas yung sagot nyo sa ka, sagot ko. So, yan. So, first information, sabi nga, the vert vertex is at the origin, so the vertex is at the origin, 0, 0, therefore H is equal to 0, and K is equal to 0. Next, the focal length is equal to 7, ayan, focal length natin, 7. Next, the parabola has the vertical axis of symmetry. Vertical siya. Kagay, hindi siya kagaya na kanina, horizontal sa atin. So, ngayon, ito naman vertical. So, therefore, and then, the parabola is opens up, uh, downward. So, therefore, since the parabola is, has a vertical axis of symmetry, therefore, the, par the variable x is, um, is in the second degree. So, Diba, kung open to the right and to the left, yung y yung nasa second degree. Pagka up, upward and downward, yung x yung nasa second degree. Okay? Ayan yung mga informations natin. Ha? Proceed tayo dun sa step 2. Step 2 natin, determine what is us. So, the problem asks us to find the equation of the parabola in general form. So, in general form natin kailangan gawin. So, since ito yung equation na gagamitin natin, naka-squared, ito yung vertex form to or standard form. Ha? Opens downward siya, so therefore, the negative dapat yung 4a. Ayan. Ito yung formula for opens downward. Ayan. Since general form ang kailangan natin, pagkatapos natin mag-solve niyan, kasi visa informations natin, meron tayong origin, so gamitin natin yung vertex natin to general form. Where in general form is x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Ito yung gagamitin natin kasi diba dalawa ang general form natin. Yung isang general form, yung y squared, yung y variable na naka squared. Since dito, x variable na naka squared, yung gamitin natin yung x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, yun yun ha. Next step natin is solve. Solve natin, apply natin yung formula na to. H and K natin is both 0. A natin is 7. So, so that is X minus 0 squared is equal to 4 4, negative 4 times 7 times Y minus 0. So that will become X squared 
is equal to negative 4 times 7, that is negative 28. Why? Since ang kailangan natin is nasa general form, so dapat nakikwit siya sa 0, so transpose lang natin to dun sa kabilang side. So from negative, that will become positive. So this will become x squared plus 28y is equal to 0. So standard form na ba yan? Wala tayong, meron tayong value ng dx. Wala naman tayo na sa first variable. Ito lang yung uh, information na nakuha natin. Tama? Wala rin tayong value for f. So, therefore, lahat ng information lagi lang natin sa right side and then equate natin sa 0. So, final answer. Explain natin. Therefore, the equation of the parabola in general form is x squared plus 28y is equal to 0. So, yun yan ha. Yun yung nga natin. Sample problem natin. Next, sample problem number 3 natin. A satellite dish is a parabola used to retrieve sounds or other waves. Assuming that the, the vertex is at the origin or 0, 0, where would the focus be a satellite dish? Ayan. That is 12 feet wide and 12 feet deep. Consider a parabola that has an upward orientation. So, since ito ay situational na na didispect sa atin ng parabola ng satellite dish, ah, yun, kagaya, hindi na siya kagaya ng example 1 and 2 natin wherein uh, informations lang about the parabola ang hinihingi. Ang ito ng example number 3 natin, meron na siyang situational na meron tayong figure which is the satellite dish. So, pagka ganyan, the first step natin is planning or read, analyze, and visualize kailangan natin i-visualize or kailangan natin um, i-graph muna or tingnan muna kung ano yung itsura ng um, situational problem natin. Hindi muna pwedeng, hindi kagad tayo dun sa information. Punta muna tayo dito. So, ang sabi, um, satellite siya, ano ba itsura ng satellite? Satellite siya na we're in, yung gitna ng satellite, parang ano yun eh, parang Uh, parang kawali, yung gitna nun at sa 0, 0. Where would the focus be the satellite dish? That is 12 feet. So, 12 feet yung length, yung dulot-dulot nung, nung satellite. Yun, yung kawa nung satellite, yung dulot-dulot niya 12 feet daw. Tapos yung kapal niya is 2 feet. So, ang hinaalam is yung focus. Ayan, tingnan natin kung anong maging itsura niya. Ayan. Sa graph, ayun yun, yung tinutukul ko kanina. Ito yung parabola. Yung itsura ng kawa, uh, kawa o yung plate ng ano, nung, ano, nung satellite. Pero yun yung let down niya, yung wide niya, o, gano'n siya kahaba, dapat mong ano, ng kawali is 12 feet. And then yung taas ng kawali is 2 feet. Ang tinatanong ngayon, nasaan yung locations ng uh, focus? Saan yung magiging focus niya? Ngayon, yun yung magiging tanong natin, ha? So, we're in. Kung mapapansin nyo dun sa graph natin, meron tayong makikitang position dun sa, sa or location ng point dun sa graph ng uh, satellite. Uh, so, since Ang inaalam lang naman natin is magiging position ng focus. So, kailangan natin kumuha ng certain uh, information aside dun sa vertex. So, kunin na natin itong positive na tamaan niya. Kasi, kung makapansin nyo, at 0, 0. So, therefore, papatak yung, papatak yung locations nung, or coordinates ng isang side ng satellite at 6 and 2. Ayan, gamitin na natin yan. Pwede rin itong negative 6 and 2. Pero since opens upward naman yung uh, ano natin, parabola natin, patayo naman siya. Gamitin natin yung positive informations. Para at least nasa positive orientations tayo na maibigay na focus value natin. So, yan. Next natin. Ayan. This down what is being asked. Ano ba yung naalam? Ang naalam dito is... The situation asks us to locate the focus of the satellite dish, this given its width, uh, width and depth. depth. Ayan, ha. So, yun ang inaalam natin. Ha. Next, assemble na natin. Write down the given uh, 
the given in the equation formula needed. Uh, assemble na natin. So the satellite dish is 12 feet wide and 2 feet deep. Uh, next, the, para, uh, the parabolic satellite dish has its vertex at 0, 0 at the origin. Next, since the parabola has an upward orientation, kung makikita nyo doon kanina, upward orientation siya. So therefore, yung formula for the parabola opens upward ang gagamitin natin, which is, that is x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4a times y minus k, wherein, ang lalagay natin dito is yung 0, 0. Uh, 0, 0. And then, yung x and y, yung kinuha natin kanina, which is 6 and 2. Yun ang gagamitin natin. Next, since alam na natin kung anong dapat niyang natin gawin, hindi isod na tayo. So, x minus h squared is equal to 4a times y minus k. So, ito nga yung 6 saka, saka 2. I-substitute natin as x and y natin. And then, yung h natin in k is at the 0, 0. Yun nga yun, is equal to. Para at least makuha natin yung value ng a. So, matitira dyan, that is 6 squared is equal to 4a times 2. Bakit naglagay tayo doon? Kasi kailangan natin makita yung value ng A. Kasi nga, di ba, based sa definition ng focus, uh, fixed point siya, and then yung distance from focus and vertex is the A. So, kung makukuha natin itong value ng A, malolocate natin yung value ng, yung locations ng focus by adding dun sa vertex natin. So, yan ha. So, therefore, Ayan, 6 squared, that is 36, is equal to 4 times 2, that is 8a. Kailangan a lang matera, so divide both sides by 8. So, a natin is 4.5. Ayan, a natin ha. So, explain natin. Therefore, the focus satellite dish must be 4.5 feet from its vertex. So, in distance niya is 4.5 feet from its vertex. So, therefore, kung... Aalamin natin yun. Aalamin natin yung locations ng vertex. mag add lang tayo dun sa, eh, ng focus, mag add lang tayo ng 4.5 dun sa vertex, pataas tayo. So, therefore, ang dinadagdagan natin, yung y coordinates, tama? Kasi kung yung x coordinates ang dinagdag natin, di pa horizontal lang movement natin. Since opens upward yan, magiging movement natin pataas. So, magiging locations natin, that is at zero, and at 4.5. So, location ng focus natin is at 0 and 4.5. The focus of the satellite dish must be 4.5 feet from its vertex. So, 0 and 4.5. So, and that is the answer in sample problem number 3. Okay? So that ends our presentation. Thank you for watching. I hope ay nakatulong sa inyo itong discussion natin dito sa video na ginawa ko about applied prob uh, solving applied problems in uh, involving parabola. So thank you for watching.